going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one new uh well, new to me project truck here um i traded off my red xj on the element chassis yesterday um i just i wasn't using it it was just sitting on the shelf and with axial fest coming up uh pretty quick here i needed another axial project so uh yeah this happened so i've not had this particular rig um i've had a couple 10 threes and 10-3 straight axle is what my tow truck is based on but this one's a little bit different setup here so anyways it's the early bronco um definitely not perfect but for what i'm planning on doing it doesn't really matter um if i was wanting to trade for an RTR kind of a straight up deal and not a planned project. Uh, this probably wouldn't have been it, but probably everything that's on this truck right now is gonna get tore apart and probably thrown into a few different trucks. Uh, if you've been around here for a little while, you know I pretty well Frankenstein everything so i'm sure this one probably won't be much different so i the only thing i did uh, to this thing after picking it up was i threw these wheels and tires on it um, it didn't come with wheels and tires the guy said that he had a set of like the stock plastic shit and i'm not i would just end up tossing them in the bin and never looking at them again just like all the other ones so i wasn't concerned about that so no wheels and tires um no esc or receiver which again doesn't matter to me because i would just toss them anyways so uh enjoy a deep dish bead locks um canyon cut canyon trails and uh i can't remember if these are the greens or the blues i think these are the blue and jora silicone inserts um still got the stock dynamite i'm guessing 35 turn motor uh, that's in here i went ahead and threw the esc 90 that used to be in my race in here um, because it's not going to be in here long i didn't go through and change any of the settings so you know that thing was set up for trailing and hill climbing so this thing's probably not going to have any drag brakes to speak of and not the best low end i'm sure but this will probably be the only run on all of this i just wanted to get it out and make sure that everything else worked which one thing that doesn't work that i was under the assumption that it did is the big servo which i know that those are a problem area just like the steering servo all the spectrum stuff i've heard of a lot of people having issues with those so no dig at the moment um, but it is what it is uh, i think that's about it and it's had a couple little detailed kind of things done to it um, yeah i don't know it's got some it's got some metal sliders on it they had taken the springs completely off. Um, they did come with it, just not on it. Uh, 
Uh, I was going to throw them on there, but honestly, I was just kind of curious to see how this thing was run before I got it. So I didn't do anything except put the bare essentials in here. Uh, somebody did end up detailing the little scale motor. Um, I'm not going to take the body off here right now, but the valve covers and whatnot are blue. And they did the pulleys and the air filter and all that good stuff. But nothing special, but said I, I just wanted another axial project and this was uh, the best one that popped up the quickest on marketplace so that's what I went with so I don't expect much at all out of this thing today um, it's like to get a good baseline test of what I got and how I got it so we're going to run it around the pit. Um, we got over an inch of rain in the last 24 hours. So it's going to be a nasty, muddy mess around here. Which is why I threw the canyon trails on here. Uh, they do not hook up the best out here. But they've got silicone inserts in them. And when they get packed full of mud and water and everything else, I don't care. So on a dry day, we may bring it back out with the crawlers on it, but we'll see. So anyways, let's uh, throw this thing at the rocks and uh, see what breaks. So I haven't decided exactly what direction I'm going to go with this thing yet. Um, just looking at the other trucks I'm going to be taking to Axial Fest. Um, I want to try to fill any kind of a void I've got in my lineup. So I've got a couple legitimate like crawlers that are definitely not trail trucks. Um, I've got the Wraith on the bomber axles which is a good like, trail basher um the tow truck good scale rig recovery vehicle um yeah, four-wheel steer capra that one's a good crawler and a good trail truck so I'm not sure. Thought about I could either blow this thing completely apart and do another scale ish kind of trail rig uh, similar to the wrecker that will literally only be good for light trailing and stuff like that and just look good that was my kind of original plan but the more i think about it that's kind of what i did with that jeep and i never used it it just sat so i don't know if that's the route i'm gonna take um I could make things a lot easier on myself and just keep all the main components here on this thing and do all my normal upgrades and throw some weight at the bottom of this thing and have a solid trail truck that could still do some light crawling. Um, which over there at Axial Fest, that's pretty much the majority of what's going on. Um, I think probably 
right now with what I've got um, the truck that I would be driving the most would probably end up being the four-wheel steer Capra which is cool but it's nice to have something a little bit more scale to run around with as well so I don't know I'm just kind of rambling here working through the thought process of what I want to do with this thing I think uh, my buddy who I'm going with over to Axial Fest, he'll probably end up running his uh, Gladiator on trails the most. And if I keep this thing with this body on it and just upgrade it, uh, that would probably be a pretty good companion to his truck. He's got dig on that thing. I get dig fixed on this one. Uh, plus, this thing does have a pretty deep interior on it. So, I could put a full driver in there. Um, I did, for shits and giggles, last night. I put uh, that Bigfoot driver in here. Um, the way that his legs move, he doesn't, his legs or waist, however you want to put it, uh, he doesn't really hunch over into a sit down kind of a position. So he looks a little goofy sitting in there, but he does fit. So could do that since they've got the Bigfoot Sasquatch kind of a theme going on. I don't think I don't have any Fords at the moment. I know that there's no way in hell it's gonna make it up hard line, but I feel obligated to try. Oh yeah, we're getting muddy tires already. Approach and departure angles super top heavy. I'd be surprised if I can get out of this without rolling, to be honest. maneuvering not right out of it tell you what taking the springs completely out of here was definitely uh, not the right move Part of me wants to throw a different set of tires on here and uh, put the springs back on. Just take the uh, retainers off the bottom. That's what I did in the Capra and it does really well. But this thing is just full droop bottomed out no suspension at all it's not really doing the best so it's gonna end up with uh, a fusion probably end up taking one out of 
one of the non-axial trucks for now. I've got a Three Brothers G13 servo uh, in the box, ready to go for this project. Uh, I bought that down at Beat the Creek before I even knew what the project was going to be, but I knew there was going to be another one. This thing needs some help. But yeah, uh, Fusion, Three Brothers, Steering Servo. I uh, gotta get another Dig Servo. Uh, probably throw a set of Desert Lizard Shocks on here. I've been having really good luck with those the last few rigs I've put them on. Um, and then I'm not sure about wheels and tires yet. I have to do some uh, testing and see what this thing likes once I get all the other stuff put on it. This suspension setup is just no bueno. Those things are completely dropped out. You can't do anything with it set up like that. There's no weight on the front end at all. with as heavy as this body is already. And it's only gonna get heavier uh, once I start throwing some scale at it. Uh, definitely gonna need some good bit of weight down on the axle. But the fact that uh, it's not even wanting to make this climb. That's saying a lot. And not in a good way. My goodness. Yeah, it looks good for Flex Friday, but holy crap, this thing is not set up to do any kind of crawling. Look at that nonsense. Holy crap. <sighs> okay, I need a break for a second. My cigarette done blowed itself out. I'm, uh, I've got some thinking to do here. See if I can remedy something real quick. Okay, so I thought that I still had some mini bungee cords stashed away up here. I was going to try to at least suck the front end down a little bit. But I don't have any up here. So I think we're just going to chalk this one up. Before we roll it. <laughs> So yeah, that's about halfway what I expected out of this thing, seeing 
how everything was set up. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll go back and check out the uh, trails that I got cleared out yesterday. I got a little bit further. I found a pretty sweet little ravine, creek run kind of area um, back in the woods. So maybe we'll uh, take the hike back and do some some trailing with this thing just to round this off. I can't end it like that. So we'll try for one more little climb before we get out of the pit here. Just because I'm curious. I know that my mom's Gen 8, which I would say is comparable to this thing, except it does have portals. Uh, it made it up this climb. And it's very top heavy and it already has a driver figure in it and all that good stuff. So I would hope that this thing can at least make it up the easy side. suspension. Goodness gracious. Okay. If I keep this up, I will end up breaking something. That there is a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. So, we'll uh, take this thing out and run it in the woods a little bit and uh, just see how it does on some normal light trailing with a couple little dirt climbs. Hopefully it can handle that. So I did go back to the garage and I put the uh, springs back on the shocks. I took the bottom uh, retainer cups off of it. So the springs are just sitting on top of the uh, mounting points, the rod ends. And then I also put a uh, mini bungee cord kind of sucking the front end down so it's actually got a little bit of suspension now but it's still sitting as low as it can sit pretty much so we're gonna see once we get back to the little hill sections 
we'll see if that helps at all on the, the vertical stuff. Like I said, I'm going to change everything out anyways, so it really doesn't matter. But the way that uh, this was set up was really bugging me. As bad as I really want to just blast this thing through the mud, um, I did not put this receiver into a receiver box. It's just sitting on the slider, so I uh, don't really want to drown another receiver at the moment. So, unfortunately, we got to take it easy in the wet sections. So this little intersection here is kind of where the trail ended during the last couple videos. Um, once we get past this section here, we'll walk back to what I cleared out yesterday. And I forgot to bring the rake with me, so I didn't get everything completely cleaned up how I want it to be, but I at least got the big stuff cut down and tossed out of the way, so should be able to make it through with the truck. got a trail cut through here and it's actually going to loop back around to the other side of where that intersection goes over there we're going to go that way i just wanted to kind of show this little trail i got and then on the other side of this bushy stuff it opens up into another big intersection kind of area i'll show that from the other side This is where the latest addition to these trails starts. So I guess we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll go, go up under this little tree branch here and then I'll reset and we'll just walk the whole thing in one go. One trail I pointed the camera down a couple clips ago comes right through here and then that section there goes down to where the truck is currently from the other side and then I've got another little trail cut out here that kind of winds around into a bigger open area down yonder there somewhere in here I'm gonna really clear things out and uh, have a obstacle course set up and then I'm sure that we'll have obstacles built along the trails as well.
always good to have some little tree or bridge or something to drive under every once in a while. I guess we'll walk this out all in one shot. Save some time. There's where that other path is going to meet back up with this one. Pretty good log right there to build something off of. Need to bring the chainsaw and the rake back here with me and finish cleaning up. Get rid of some of this these vines and uh, do a good bit of raking get all these leaves and smaller sticks picked up man since I was out here yesterday there's been uh, at least a couple deer moving through here looks like they had a hell of a time slipping and sliding down here to that little runoff creek area that I found. Definitely didn't get a whole lot cleaned out here. This was towards the end of the day yesterday. You can see how thick it is. It takes a lot to uh, clear out a trail down here in this woods. So we'll probably have it set up where the trucks will go on down around that direction and then driver will walk down this way. Uh, hopefully it's clear enough for the truck to drive through all of this. Take an alternate route until I get everything cleared up. Can't see what's going on. Ah. Getting hemmed up pretty good there. There we go. Didn't even rip off the windshield wiper. Take a detour here as well. I have not had any trucks out here yet, and this is the furthest that I've gone, so I honestly don't know where this goes from here. But there is plenty of uh, elevation change and what not to build off of there is actually if we can get a good view of them but there's a few rocks laying around already here and there got some water which 
it's hard to say how much of that will actually stay throughout the summer. Got even more rocks down creek a little bit. But it's pretty thick down through there. It's going to take a good bit of work to keep this going. But if, I, if it's possible, I'd like to uh, make this connect to my other creek run that comes from the other side of the property. And uh, that's uh, quite a long ways off. So, got a long way to go on that front. Making progress, nonetheless. So. Well, even just putting the springs back on with no cups and that little bungee on the front definitely seems to uh, help out a little bit even though I didn't get on any rocks yet just going up and down the little vertical dirt hills back there uh, that front end wasn't dropping out near as bad definitely helps to keep the weight down on the front that's for sure but so that's really neither here nor there it's just me being picky because of how i'm used to all my other trucks performing but i'll get this thing tore down a bit build it back up um i'd say i'll at least depending on which direction i go with the build um i may as well go ahead and throw all of my favorite upgrades at this thing that it's going to get anyways and uh, running again kind of as is in this configuration and who knows I may like how it's going and I may keep it a Bronco and somewhat stockish and just have another trail rig to run around over there at Axial Fest but we'll see I can see the potential in it, so I'm digging it. That's pretty much all that I was after. But I think we'll probably uh, call it there. Um, I said I don't have any obstacles down here, and I've uh, got a lot more work to do. So, May have another clip or two if i get into anything interesting on the way out but other than that I'll call it a day i uh, hope you enjoyed stick around this thing uh i'm gonna turn it into something i'm not sure what its final destination is yet but we'll get there i've got uh less than a month to do it so we'll get her figured out Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.